What's going on YouTube? I am sitting out in Pulteneyville, New York at Lake Ontario. I took the motorcycle out for a little ride. I've been out for about an hour, hour and a half. And I thought, you know what? I'm like 20, 25 miles along the coast of the lake. I thought I'd just take a little break and uh, enjoy the sun and maybe share a thought as I am wont to do. So I'm thinking about problem solving and I'm always in my career and I'm sure you are in yours having to solve problems. Problems for my clients, problems for my own business. It's just what I do. And if you're in business, if you're a marketer, if you're a branding person, you're a consultant, freelancer, you're any kind of professional, you're solving business problems all the time. And if you're a human being, you're solving human problems all the time. We just have problems and it's not necessarily a negative thing. It's part of the human experience. It's what drives us to build buildings and bridges and to cure diseases and feed people. We just, we have problems in the world we live in and we, we work to solve them. And this isn't a philosophical discussion on the nature of problems, but I'm kind of glad in some ways that we have challenges. I don't like it that people feel pain, that people struggle, suffer. I don't like problems that are needless or pointless, sicknesses and diseases and these types of things. But I have to say, like having challenges is a motivator. That, like having those things to overcome is what helps drive us, I think, to become better versions of ourselves. We're better versions than if we had just been sitting around on the couch uh, playing Xbox. So here's the thing. You know, I'm out on this ride and I do this often. Like if I've got a problem that I can't figure out, I will often talk, and I've talked about this before, but I will often reframe the problem. And I've got a video, I'll uh, post a link to it over here or over here somewhere. But I've got a video on how do you reframe a problem and how does that help you solve a problem? And it's really about stepping back and thinking about the problem differently. But often you can go through all that and you're still stuck. You're at a loggerhead, you're kind of at a dead end and you don't know how to solve this problem. You need to come up with a creative idea. What I will also do is reframe my environment, meaning I'll go somewhere new. So as an example, I've just gotten on the bike, I've been out for about an hour, I'm 30 miles or so from home, and I'm sitting in this beautiful park, I'm right at the lake, there's the water crashing against the banks, the sun is shining, there's these beautiful trees and dappled shade. It's just lovely and relaxing and refreshing. This doesn't only kind of refresh me so I can go back and tackle my problem with more vigor and more energy, but what it does is it kind of resituates me in a different place. I, I'm recontextualized. I'm sitting in some park that I've, I've only been to once before. That I've, I've eliminated the routine. I've gotten outside of what's normal for me. And that then helps open my mind and I start to think in ways that I don't usually think or think about things that I don't usually think about. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, often problems are kind of churning in the back of my mind and the solution will just come to me. It's not that I've got to go through this really arduous process. My mind is working on problems in the background and then all of a sudden it just serves it up like, here's your answer. Maybe for you, you your, your mind works differently or your process looks a little different. But the point being, no matter what your process, how your mind works, or who you are, what kinds of problems you're trying to, trying to solve, Changing your environment can be huge. Uh, there are people I know that will hop on an airplane and shoot to a close city, just like a 40, 30 minute, 40 minute flight. Get off the airplane, Uber to a coffee shop or some cool location with a notebook and a pen, just so that they can get creative ideas and solve problems and come up with new, new, new ideas and new things to do, products and so on. They know the power of just changing their location. And I think part of it is we get stuck in routines, we get stuck in our habits, we get stuck using the same tools, the same software, the same people and conversations that we have all the time. By the way, I don't mean using the same people, we engage the same people, we have conversations. We get in these ruts and these ruts are good in some ways because there's a comfort to being, um, to having a stable life, to having a schedule, to having, thing, to having things in your life that you can count on. Uh, you, you know, you don't want to wake up and every morning not know if you're going to be facing a pack of wild wolves or wake up in the middle of a river on a raft. You kind of like knowing you're going to wake up in your bed, in your room, you know the routine and you can kind of slowly start your day. These routines are useful, but they also get in the way of creative thinking. They get in the way of solving problems. 
So if you're faced with something, maybe a tough problem, maybe you want to, uh, maybe you want to come up with some new solution, a new product idea, then I would highly recommend you check out a new location. Get in your car, get on your bicycle, your motorcycle, get on an airplane, just mix it up. It could be a 20 minute drive. It could just be to somewhere new. I'm telling you, it will help you start to think differently. I hope this helps guys. If you like it, do, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. And in the comments, let me know, like how do you like to solve problems? What do you do when you're stuck? How do you mix it up, open up your mind and come up with fresh ideas? Love you guys and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you.